So someone asked if I could help with a sky replacement, but while keeping everything else the same. And he sent me these pictures to work on, so I thought I'd make a video of it as well. So this is the first picture, and I'm first going to duplicate it twice. So then I've got three copies of it. So I'm just going to hide the top two layers and work on the bottom one for now. And I'm first going to cut out the trees. I'm not going to worry about the branches for now. So I'm going to go to the selections persona. And then I'm going to the smart selection brush. And I'm turning off snap to edges. And so I'm just making a selection over the trees. I'm then adding a mask layer, which is going to remove everything that's not in the selection. And then deselect. And then I'm hiding that layer and I'm going up to the next one. And for this layer, I'm just going to mostly focus on selecting the grass. And I'm just going to select some of the tree as well. I'm not going to go all the way up because it's going to be a bit difficult to go around those branches. And then I'm going to the refine selection tool just to make sure I'm not selecting anything that I'm not meant to. So some of the gaps in the trees I'm just going to go over them. And then I'm going to click, and then I'm clicking apply, and new mask layer, and then deselect. So then if I bring back the trees that I cut out, you can see all I need to get now is the branches in the background. So I'm going to hide these two layers and then go to the top one. And then I'm going to the channel studio. I'm going to the blue and then I'm clicking the three dots and then load to pixel selection. And then because I'm on the selection persona, I can invert the selection. And then I'm going to add a mask layer to that. And then deselect. So then if I bring back the other two layers, you can see I've got the branches in there as well now. And I'm just going to get rid of this bit on the corner. So I'm going to go to the mask. I'm going back to the photo persona, I'm going to the paintbrush and making sure that's on black and then I'm just painting over that corner. And now I need to find a sky so I'm going to the stock studio and I'm just typing in sky. And I want to try and find a sky that's going to match the picture. So because this picture is quite bright, I don't want a dark sky because it's not going to look right. So I think I'm going to use this one and then I'm just dragging that over. I'm going to the move tool and I'm resizing it to fit the image. And then I'm dragging that to the very bottom of the layers. And then if you want to bring back some more detail with the branches, just go to the top layer and duplicate it. And then if you look closely at the branches, you've got this light colour going around them. So you can go on one of the layers, I'm just going to go on the top one. And then go to the filter studio, go to colours, and then erase white paper. 
and that'll darken the branches down. But that's also darken the trees in the foreground. So you can drag that layer and put it to the bottom, but make sure you put it above the sky and that'll brighten the trees up again. And if you've still got some white around the branches, you can do it again with the second layer. And then just drag that to the bottom as well. So both of these layers that I've done that to are the ones for the branches. Um, this is the one for the trees and this is the grass. So this is the second picture I'll be using and I'm basically just going to do the same thing. So I'm going to start by duplicating it. And I'm only going to do it once on this photo, so I've got the two layers. I'm going to hide the top layer and I'm working on the bottom one. And I'm making a selection over the foreground. And then I'm adding a mask layer and then deselect and then I'm hiding that one I'm going to the top one and I'm going to the channels studio I'm going to blue and load to pixel selection and then invert in it and mask layer and then deselect and then I'm bringing back the bottom layer and the branches are a little bit faded so I'm just going to duplicate that layer for the branches and I need to go back to the photo persona to do it and that's darkened it up and then I'm finding a sky and again because the picture is quite bright I want to find a bright sky and then I'm resizing it And then I'm dragging that to the bottom of the layers. 